Welcome back to the Nerd with J&J. James Sharmack here with a brand new review video. Today we are looking at both the Super Power Superman and the Supermobile. Both Walmart exclusive, both from McFarland Toys. Looking forward to this as I had some Super Powers toys when I was a kid. Not so much this version of the Supermobile, a different one, but we'll take a look at this nonetheless. Take a look at the boxes, take a look at each uh, toy and uh, see how it goes. So let's take a look at the figure first. Uh, retails for about 10 bucks at Walmart. Clearly, obviously, it's uh, inspired from the 80s line, just from like, you know, the box itself, the figure itself, the artwork itself on the back, you know, figures in the line. With the vehicle, two vehicles they have so far, they're coming out with more than the next year. And a little uh, info card on Superman, in case you don't know. So pretty cool. Uh, you know, got a lot of nostalgic feels. I had the Superman figure back in the day. We'll take him out of the box and review him in a second, but we're going to take a look at the Supermobile next. Or the box, anyways. So let's take a look at the box for this. This is not exactly a reproduction. And it's not inspired by the actual toy from the 80s, as that was more inspired by space movies and whatnot, Star Wars, whatever. This is more inspired by the comic book design of the Supermobile, which in the 1960s and 70s he would use for deep space exploration or, you know, having to do a mission that involved kryptonite or whatever. Anyways, let's take a look at the box. You know, nice artwork on the front of the, the vehicle itself on the top. The vehicle itself with a figure in it on the side. Another uh, vision of the, the vehicle with a figure. Bottom, the usual junk. Same stuff on that side. On the back, some of the action features of the uh, vehicle. You know, put the figure in. Got these punching arms, which, you know, if you've ever read the old comic way back in the day, he would use this to, like, fly into space and punch meteors and stuff. And he's got a jail cell. So, pretty cool. So, uh, let's take a look at the Superman figure itself. Then we'll take a look at the Supermobile out of the package. So, looking at the figure itself, looks pretty close to the uh, original figure. From 1985, but not quite. It's you know I've, it's supposed to look close, just you know it's not supposed to be per a perfect representation, but still, you know, gives you kind of the nostalgic feels. Uh, what it doesn't have is like the power feature where the original figure you just pinch the legs and he can do a super punch, so he doesn't have that. Uh, still nice, uh, nice close looking sculpt, looking almost cartoony. Like, obviously, with the cartoon that had been at the time. S is a little small on the chest, I think, but... It looks kind of, you know, like a... Almost like an amalgamation of the 85 cartoon and, like, the uh, 90s uh, Superman cartoon. Just a little body build or whatever. But, you know, I could be mistaken. I'm, I've never been a fan of this kind of cape, just because... When I was a kid, this would get lost because of the clamp on itself. But still got a nice uh, Superman sticker on the back. Nice bright blue, nice red on the on the figure itself. Uh, head sculpt, you know, it looks all right. You know, definitely you know has that you know 80s cartoon look. So it is what it is. Uh, articulation wise, doesn't have too much as you know these retro figures kind of had just head turn. Arm goes up and down only. Let's go apart, forward and back that far, and bend at the knee. So, can't really, you know, do like some crazy super poses, but what are you going to do, right? It's supposed to be inspired for the 85 figure ending. You know, get, that's what you get. So, let's take a look at the Supermobile and see what that does. Okay, kids, we have the Supermobile ready to go right out of the package. Not that hard to put together. Basically, that to had to snap on the canopy and the rear fin. Otherwise, it's good to go. You don't have to stick any stickers in like you used to in the 1980s. Pretty cool looking. If, you know, not exactly accurate to the toy line itself, but it is what it is. Uh, let's talk about action features. So, uh, has this little dial on the bottom where you can control the punching fists. So, you know, obviously in the 1960s, you just make these robot fists so you can punch like whatever's in the way as he's flying in outer space. Pretty cool looking. Uh, this is the quote-unquote jail cell. It's a little hard to open up. And supposedly you can fit a figure in there. 
but you know, can't really, right? So you don't want to say, you know, it's a storage or a cargo contain container, but it has two doors to do the same thing on each side. Access to the cockpit itself is just hitting the Superman S, taking your Superman figure, and popping them right inside. Ready to go, ready to fly into outer space or whatever. And there you go, you're all set. Looking pretty cool. A little smaller than I expected, but you know, what are you going to do, right? I'm sure when I get the Batwing, it'll be a little smaller than too. So there you go. Superman and the Supermobile looking pretty cool. Just for a size comparison, I have him next to an average six inch in Superman figure from uh, this one from Justice League. So can't imagine what a seven inch uh, McFarlane Superman is gonna look like next to him. Now the question I have is who's this line created for? Is it created for the children? Not really, I figured just cause the figure itself doesn't really do much, just has the look of the retro figure itself. They probably wouldn't understand the uh, Superman, you know, designed for the Supermobile itself. Um, is it for the displayer? Uh, maybe, maybe just so someone can be like, oh, it's, you know, it's a nostalgic, you know, I have nostalgic feels for it. But I think it's more for the inbox collector just because there's a lot of effort, as you've seen, for the box design for not only the figure, but the vehicle is itself. And for the price point it is, for nine bucks for the figure, I mean, it's relatively small compared to say your Marvel Legends, and 30 bucks for like the the vehicle itself. You look for 40 bucks total. So, you know, it's probably for the inbox collector. I mean, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy collecting Superman stuff. I dig it. You know, like I said, it gives me a nostalgia feels from when I had to super powers figure line back in the 80s but you know it's, it's probably more for the box collector so but you know if you want to get it you know nobody's stopping you I'm, I, I'll recommend it you know but you know it might be more just to have the boxes and whatnot but still it'll still look cool on a display even if the scales a little bit off from like every other figure I have but so pretty cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are collecting and looking for this slave wave, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, give me a subscribe, whatever. Tell me if you what you're looking forward to from this wave. Like there's a Batmobile coming out next year. Um, I'm gonna see about maybe getting the Batwing and doing a review on that. So uh Thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, keep on collecting. Happy hunting.